If you're looking for unforgettable adventures that you can do while traveling Switzerland, this video is perfect for you. My name is Sandro and I've been living here for my whole life. In this video, I will show you five of my personal favorite outdoor spots to visit in Switzerland. Let's go! Let's start with our first adventure, a day trip to the Gelmersee, which is located in the Grimsel area between the canton of Bern and Wallis. You can reach this hydroelectric reservoir by one of the steepest funiculars in Europe. The ride with the Gelmerbahn takes about 10 minutes and costs 16 francs for adults and 6 francs for kids. Once you're up there, you have a lot of options to do different hikes. But the most exciting thing is definitely to walk across the huge dam and enjoy those impressive mountain views. Instead of taking the funicular to go back down, you can save some money and just walk. Look at that, it just looks amazing down here. I mean the colors and this little lake, just a beautiful hike. In winter it can get really cold up there and that's why the funicular only runs from the end of May to the end of October. Before you leave, you just have to cross the Hondekfall suspension bridge, which is located directly at the lower station of the funicular. But better not be afraid of heights here. If you're looking for some more action, then you should definitely go e-mountain biking in Adelboden. Adelboden is a village in the Swiss Alps in the canton of Bern and well known for hosting a ski world cup race every winter. You can get there by car or also public transport. There are different places where you can get your rental bike and one day costs about 65 Swiss francs. It is a good idea to make a reservation before you go and also make sure that you plan your trip ahead and pick a trail that matches your skills. You can bring a picnic or you can also have a little break in one of the traditional Swiss restaurants and get some extra energy for the fast downhill sections. Say goodbye to sunshine because adventure number three takes us to the St. Beatus caves deep inside the mountains at the beautiful lake of Thun. You can get there by car or by using the public transport connections from Thun or Interlaken. This adventure is also perfect for bad weather because inside the caves you're not exposed to the rain. It costs 18 francs for adults and 10 francs for kids and the entrance to their small museum where you can learn more about the caves is also included. There is a small restaurant where you can sit and enjoy a view over the lake. But let's talk about the main attraction, the tour through the caves. A well-lit path takes you to the inside of the mountain, where you can take a look at impressive underground waterfalls and stone sculptures formed by nature itself. The tour takes approximately one hour and you can do this from mid-March until mid-November. Instead of taking a bus to go back, you can also end this adventure with a beautiful boat ride on the lake of Thun. And here is adventure number four, the Rotorn hike for anyone who wants to breathe some mountain air. The Rotorn is located near Zermatt and offers a unique view on the Matterhorn. If you're coming from the north side of the Alps, it is probably the easiest way to take the train to go to Zermatt. From there, it's just a quick walk to the funicular station. A funicular and a cable car take you up to the Rotorn in 35 minutes. Both ways cost 70 Swiss francs or 35 for kids or people with a GA or a half fare travel card. Once you're up there, you have an unforgettable view of one of Switzerland's most famous landmarks, the Matterhorn. This is also the starting point for a lot of different hikes. If you're an experienced hiker, I would recommend to go all the way up to the Oberrotorn, which is at 3400 meters above sea level. After one and a half hours, you should reach the summit and you will be rewarded with a spectacular view. The best time for this hike is in between June and September when there is no snow. If you still have some energy left, you can hike all the way back down to Zermatt. Once you're back at the village, you made it and you can reward yourself with a cold drink or a well-deserved ice cream. It's time to relax and that's why our last adventure is a day trip to the beautiful Harderkulm, which is a very accessible lookout point located in Interlaken in the canton of Bern. The starting point is only a few steps away from the train station Interlaken West. There's a funicular that takes you up to the platform. One way costs 70 francs for adults or 8 francs 50 for kids or people with a GA or a half fare travel card. It is also an option to do a two hour hike to get up to the harder cool. The best time to do this is between April and October, depending on the snow situation. Up there you have a fantastic view on the Alps and the Lake of Thun and the Lake of Brienz. To grab a quick snack or have a full meal, you can also visit the restaurant up there. 
Alright guys, that's it. Those were my 5 unforgettable adventures that you can have when you travel to Switzerland. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe because like that we can stay in touch and you won't miss any new outdoor adventures here in Switzerland. See you soon hopefully, goodbye.